Hey guys, I'm the Getsy Gamer and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask 3D. In the last episode, we had defeated the boss in Snowhead Temple, and in this episode, we'll be going back to the Goron that gave us a powder keg test and getting the ability to uh, get powder kegs. Also, we got this nice looking sword too. Anyway, let's get back to that Goron, shall we? Now, in what direction was he exactly? Probably this way. Don't have a lot of time because it's the last day, but um, it's pretty much all we have to do is just uh, do this test, then we can go back in time. Ow. So it's definitely stronger. Yep, definitely stronger. Loving this sword already. It looks so cool. It, I think it looks a lot better in this remake than it did in, uh, on the N64. I don't know. I think they changed the color scheme just a little bit, but it really does look better. I like it a lot. I like getting any chance I can get to, uh, test it out. I like the hilt for the sword, too. It's, uh, or scabbard, whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, yeah, it's scabbard. Sorry, the hilt is, uh, the handle of the sword. Well, I like the hilt, too, but the scabbard, I like the nice red color, too. Anyway, let's get, let's get over there. I'm dawdling way too much. Alright, let's, uh, turn into Goron Link. It looks like you managed to succeed. Knowing your skills, I feel fine letting you handle powder kegs on your own. It was bad of me to put you through such a dangerous test. I want you to take this as my apology. And we got a powder keg, so basically this is a huge ass bomb that'll destroy way stronger walls, such as that boulder next to Romany Ranch. So we'll be able to get there, you know, on as early as the first day instead of waiting for the third day, so we can get access to there because Stuff happens during, you know, the three days, so we might as well go there. Powder kegs are very volatile, so you can only carry one at a time. If you shoot them with an arrow, they'll explode as soon as, soon as they're hit, so be careful. You're a certified powder keg handler now. This is added to your notebook. Alright, now that we have that... I do remember that we still need to get the biggest bomb bag, but I think we're about 50 rupees short, so let's see if we can get some extra money somehow. I'm sure there's somewhere we can get an easy 50 rupees. Because we already did all that s Well, I mean, we can just go back in timing. Actually, let me go to town and uh, withdraw 50 rupees. Lockdown, yes. Alrighty. Here we are. Man, that song is really ominous. It sounds really bad. <laughs> it makes you like... What's the word I'm looking for? Well, phrase. It makes you stand on edge. Like, it makes you go on edge, basically. What's this? You need something? Excuse me, but let me take a look at you. Of course he doesn't remember me. Okay, so I have about 400 rupees, so let me withdraw 50. I can't hold that many rupees? Oh, right, right. So, 46? No, I don't want to deposit. Actually, you know, it would make it easier if I deposit them all. Alright, so let me withdraw 200. And I don't have to do any math. Alright, so let's go back to Snowhead. Mountain Village. Oh, fairy. Not that I need it, but hey, it's there. 
All right, let's go quickly to the mountain village. Just a few, you know, just this one thing this high up and then we go back in time. And with that, like I said, with that powder keg, we can, uh, we can get access to Romany Ranch. I'm sorry, I just, I really love this sword. I really do. I'll, I'll stop, I'll stop. Alright, let's go on. Alrighty. Turn the Goron link because this guy will only sell to Gorons. Oh, wait! He, he left. Oh! Oh, well, we can still get to him. Um, we're just gonna have to go back in time. Alrighty, let's, uh... Oh, before I do that, let me deposit the, the rupees again. Okay, clock down. Alright, let's deposit the rupees. Alright, now if I uh, am not forgetting anything, let's go back in time then. Alright, now we're back at the beginning of the three-day cycle once again. The quickest way to the ocean is through the west gate. Alright, that's good to know, but we're not heading here just yet. Let me slow down time. Alrighty, now let's uh, go back to the bank, get the 200 rupees once again, and then we can go to the mountain village. Alrighty, now let's head back to the mountain village. So as you can see, since we went back in time, everything we did here to help Snowhead has gone back to normal. It's cold again, as Link feels. It just sucks. That guy that we had saved before, he's back again. Everything we did reverted back to the way it was. It's so sad. Sorry, Link. So let's uh, let's go get that big uh, the biggest bomb bag. So we can get, uh, you know, get over with that and then we'll get a powder keg. The lake is frozen again. The Goron Elder is once again trapped in ice. It's so sad, really. It makes you think whether you're really making a difference or not. Alrighty, let's become Goron Link. Now we, there we go, the Deku Scrub is now there. Alright, let's talk to him. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with a focus on Goron clientele. And that, sir, makes you a customer. Right now, I've got a special trading offer just for you. I'll give you my biggest bomb bag, regularly priced at 1,000 rupees. In return, you'll just give me your big bomb bag and just 200 rupees. Are you interested? Yes, sir, I am. You got the biggest bomb gag. Now you can hold up to 40 bombs. Yep, 
You got an even bigger bomb bag. This was added to your notebook. So now we have the biggest quiver and the biggest bomb bag. Cool. Um, I don't remember if uh, the guy that we get the the uh, powder keg sells you them. Because we, sh I don't know if he'll recognize us as the as being capable of carrying them or whatnot. Let me get some arrows here. That go stick? No, I don't need that. Any, any magic and arrows. Not rupees. Magic and arrows. We got bombs. I need arrows. Arrows? Arrows? Come on, I need arrows. Arrows? Uh, I need arrows, but now I don't have them. Arrows in here? Yes, arrows. Alrighty. Okay, let's go back to being regular Link. Take out our fire arrows. Melt that down. Back to Goron Link. Alright. I'm the Goron who sells powder cakes, the most famous product for the Gorons. 20 rupees? Do I have 20? I don't have 20 rupees. How many do I have? 10. Alright, let's get 10 rupees very quickly and then we'll be back. He sells them so cheap. Alright. Anything here. Anything there. Let's, uh. Kill Tektites. Come on. Die. Die. Ooh, there we go. 10. A lot of rupees. Cool. Alright, let's go back. So yeah, we don't have to do that silly test of his again. We can just pay 20 rupees and get the powder cake. Now, I know they do sell them in the bomb shop in uh, Clock Town, but I think they sell it for more expensive. And since we're already here, we might as well get it here. Blah, blah, blah. We already know. Alright, so let's go to Romany Ranch. Milk Road, there we go. Perfect. More arrows. Let's see if there's anything in here. Ooh, red ruby. Perfect. Now, let me equip regular arrows. And Tingle should be in. There we go. There's Tingle. I think it might sell a map that we need, if I recall correctly. Yes, yes. We've heard your same speech always. Come on. Which maps do you have? Come on. Romany Ranch. There we go. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It gets old, dude. Alright. Since we have this... Oh, by the way. This guy's reaction is going to be hilarious. So let's switch to Gorn Link. Go to our items. Powder keg. Over here. <laughs> he just runs away. He's like, nope, nope. That is hilarious. Let's see what he has to say. What? I thought I could break it! Nope. I'm gonna save you all the trouble, dude. Oh, that exploded quicker than I thought. Alrighty. Hey, as long as it's open to traffic, it's fine. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go into Robinie Ranch. On the first day. Now remember, very early on, we spoke to this girl here, and she seemed out of it. She seemed really weird. Look, look. Yes, I think we've had this cutscene before. Isn't that your horse? And then it doesn't do the cutscene from the original, which is very disappointing. But whatever. All right, let's talk. 
Hey, who are you? I'm Romany. I was given the same name as the ranch. What's your name? Link. Link? That's a nice name, but... How about Grasshopper? That's the name Romany gives you. See, you're wearing green clothes and you patter about when you walk, so Grasshopper it is. Romany was practicing for tonight. Tonight, they are coming. They, they come at night every year when the carnival approaches. They come riding in a bright shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. And then, they come to the barn. My older sister won't believe me, but Romany must protect the cows. Hey Grasshopper, I'm recruiting a, uh, for an assistant right now. You're a boy, won't you try? Sure. <laughs> Great, now that's the spirit Grasshopper. Okay then, I'm gonna I'm going straight into my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. They'll aim for that barn and approach it slowly, so hit them with arrows so they can't get in. You got that? And you mustn't leave the ranch. Grasshopper, let's practice right away. There are ten ghost-shaped balloons in the ranch, so hurry and burst them all. If you take more than two minutes, you're out. The current record is one minute. Are you ready? This is gonna be kinda hard because you're on Epona. That I remember. I'm not trying for the record, I'm just going to By the way, we're on Epona now. Yeah. I'm already doing terrible. Okay, there's one. There's two. It's nice to be an opponent again. Okay, there's another one. Come on. There's another one. Come on. There's eight, there's nine. Oh, I didn't get the record actually. Eh, that was that was a lot easier than I remember. Okay, okay, you're done. <laughs> 4606, amazing. It's a new record. You two work perfectly together. I'll teach Romany's horse calling song to you, Grasshopper. Now you two keep getting along and go practice some more. Yeah, I, I think Link should already know that song. I don't know why she knows it, but hey man, it's a game. Let's roll with it. Let's see. Still love the song though. It's Epona's song, a melody signifying the bond you share with Epona. Play it and your beloved horse will come running. Stand by Epona's side and press blah to climb on her back to get off slow to a stop and press blah. Press blah while riding gently time. Yeah, we know how to ride Epona. When your arrow hits these, they burst into nothing, but the real ones will keep popping up. If they get in the barn, we'll lose. They run away at first light of the sun, so we'll have to keep them fending them off until then. Did you get that? Yeah. The operation starts tonight at 2. I'll be waiting by the barn, don't be late. Alright, so now we have a duty to help Romany at 2 a.m. I'll keep that in mind. We're gonna fast forward to that in a little bit, but there's actually something we can do with the opponent very quickly. Hey, do you think you can remember the time they just told you? If you're worried about if you're worried you might forget, I can give you a little reminder when the time comes. Just open the bomber's notebook and select alarm from the schedule screen, then set it for whatever time you want me to remind you about. It's good to set alarms a bit earlier than the time of the event, so you're not late for any appointments. But that's really your call to make. Um, that's actually a really neat feature that the Bomber's Notebook act adds, but uh, in this case, I don't really need it because, you know, I I'm pretty good at tracking my own progress. Anyway, uh, where's the opponent at? Let's get on her, and there's something we need to do. Another mask we can get. nearby but uh, it'll be an easy mask all 
There we go here. We've never been here before. Horman track. I think we can take off this mask. Let me take off this mask. Anyway, we got two Luigi's here. <laughs> Basically. So when we talk to them with Epona, uh, I, I want to talk to them with Epona. Come on, come on, you can talk. Can I can I not talk to them? Please? Can I talk to you? Is that pathetic thing your horse? I would have guessed that little thing was a mule for sure. Ain't that right, little brother? Do you think a horse that pathetic would gallop if you push blah forward and would run faster if you press blah? This guy's funny. Why don't you pony up 10 rupees for the chance to race against us? If you win, we'll give you something nice, kid. Yes, I will race. It's a simple race. Just go once around the track. If you can beat us to the finish line, you win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ready? Alright, so this is pretty much the same as an Ocarina of Time, except with two guys. I don't think it gets that much harder. To be honest. It's a little bit trickier than it was before. Not too much, but we should still get first place. Just gotta manage the carrots, right? I think I may have lost the race, guys. I think I may have lost the race. Oh, and I lost the race. Oh god, Epona. Why, Epona? God damn it, Epona. Why? <laughs> now I don't have enough rupees to do it again. Oh god. <laughs> we win! Uh, how embarrassing. I had that too. You didn't beat the Gorman Brothers. This was added to your notebook. Oh yeah, add insult to injury. If you like, we'll let you race just again. I don't have the money right now, I'm sorry. I'll come back. The suspicious Gorman brothers were added to your notebook. Uh, and we run out of time too, how disappointing. Guys, I'm sorry for that, but you know, it's the end of the episode for now. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate that as well. You'd get more videos like this one. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Later!